Hello everyone, my name is Master Rothness and welcome to Battlefleet Gothic Armada. In today's video, we'll be doing a coverage video of the Eldar, the newest faction to come out to the multiplayer beta for Battlefleet Gothic Armada. Now, currently, the Eldar are very different to that of the Orcs, Chaos, and Imperial Navy in that they have the best fighters and bombers in the game as well as very fast and maneuverable ships. However, their ships are very fragile and they actually, they actually don't have shields. They have hollow fields. We'll get to what they do in a minute. Right now, I do want to say that I'll be versing off against the AI as, one, I'm a scrub, and two, it's very fast and easy for me to grind out missions and show you guys as much Eldar content as possible. One other downside of the Eldar is also most of their weapons are on the front, so you have to care about your position a lot. So this is one of our light cruisers. It has a couple of launch. It has one launch bay, actually, and then it has six prow shuriken cannons. Afterwards, we have this light cruiser over here, which has two prow pulsars and torpedo launcher. Interesting thing is that we also have access to activate pulsars ability, which allows us to do extra damage to an enemy ship, which is pretty good. Alright, so hollow fields are essentially these things where if we continue to move across the map as the Eldar, our ships are able to absorb some enemy fire that comes our way, seeing as though we don't have shields, our hollow fields can absorb the enemy fire. As long as we uh, keep the gauge up, I'll show off what that gauge looks like when we get into the actual game. Let's show off the skills. We have four different skills. We have Wraith Bone Reinforcement, Hollow Field Overload, we got ourselves a Dark Star Squadron, and then afterwards, Vowels Maneuver. This allows us to turn 180 degrees. Easy peasy. This summons a Fighter Squadron. This one over here overcharges our hollow field allowing us to absorb 100% of incoming damage very useful in some engagements and then wraith bone allows us to turn the front of our ship into super heavy armor allowing us to tank a lot of shots so far i've noticed that more maneuverability is always key for this race so i've opted to go for vows maneuver to try and get a good position on enemy forces I might want to go for maybe a micro warp jump and Val's maneuver. That would be pretty good. But seeing as though the micro warp jumps, you can already position yourself with it. I'm, I think maybe Val's maneuver could be the key here, especially since you still want to keep moving as the Eldar, and micro warp jump could stop that. But I'll have to see as time goes on. Reinforced hollow field allows us to improve the hollow field's maximum chances of denying a hit, which is. I think, in my opinion, a really good uh, upgrade, especially since you're not. If I'm not going for the skill hollow field overload, that's about it. And then afterwards, we got our escort vessels, which you know are mini variants of the light cruisers, that sort of stuff. This guy is just packed with shuriken cannons, and this dude has the proud pulsar. Man, that thing's huge. And then we also have our transport ship, if need be, on standby. We also got four favors. They are of the different craft worlds. And if you want, you can definitely pause the video and take a look at them really quick. Right now, I just want to get right into the action. And then for crew, you got your Harlequin, Void Dreamer, Bone Singer, Master Gunner, Blade Sworn, Spirit Stones, and Squadron Sergeant. So, the same as any other faction, roughly speaking. You know, some guys improve your your guns while some improve your troop value and all that stuff. Alright, so, let's get right into it. Now, the Eldar are also really bad in boarding attacks, so you don't really want to use them for boarding enemy vessels, unless you are in an advantageous position to do so. Okay, cruiser clash against chaos. Alright, well, this should be fun. Keep in mind that this is only my second game as the Eldar. Actually, my third game as the Eldar, so I'm not necessarily going to be MLG Pro at this, but I'll try my damnedest. Right now, our hollow fields are at a zero. This is because I'm not moving. So again, you want to keep on moving with this faction. And that's all you really want to do. Our... Guns only go to about 6k range, so this is actually the farthest we can go, besides, you know, the launch base, but that's something else. Alright. 
Here they come. Our escort ships are a little bit too expensive, so we couldn't bring them along, which kind of sucks, but that's all fine. That's all right. Here it goes. Whoosh. Oh, uh, I actually realized this later on in my second mission, but if one of your engines are destroyed, your ship will still keep going, actually, and you can still utilize your ability over here to speed up, which I will demonstrate right now. Whoosh. Look how fast they go. And it seems like it does not reveal itself to the enemy, or at least I've never gotten a notification that says that it does reveal to the enemy. So, there's that. Enemy vessels are over there. You just want to keep up that hollow field. Now, I'm thinking maybe we want to engage them pretty soon. Or we can just, like, take out that guy because he's all by himself. Right now, my hollow fields are at 90%. This is mostly because of the upgrade, but also because I was able to... Huh. Oh, oh, right, because he, uh, he went invisible. And that's also because I'm just moving right now. Whoosh. You gotta keep moving as this faction. That is very, very, very important. Oh. So let's see. All right, now we got our. We gotta get our elder bomber squad out. Right now, I'm just uh. Let me get this guy into position. Let's go ahead and maybe turn a little bit. Close, close, close. I don't want to use Val's maneuver yet. I could really use it for more important events. Yeah, just keep firing, just keep firing. Right now, I'm gonna utilize my torpedoes really quick. There we go. And I think at this point, we could definitely go for maybe a generator strike. Alright, now time to demonstrate Val's maneuver really quick. Whoosh! I'm out of there. Yeah, Val's maneuver has a lot of practical purposes, let's just say that. Oh, we need to get out of here, actually. They're starting to fire at me. We already destroyed this vessel, so I think we're good. It seems like we have to stop when we fire, and I didn't actually notice this last time, so... This is actually something new for me. It's okay, easy peasy lemon squeezy. We're gonna get into the gas cloud really quick. Against armies like... Or not sh armies, I guess against fleets like the orcs, the Eldar will, if you're not careful, will trounce all over you. Let's not get hit by the torpedoes. There we go. I actually cannot ram the escort ships. And trust me, you really shouldn't try to ram the escort ships, actually. They can and have been able to destroy my Eldar vessels. So we're using our activate pulsar's ability. And again, look at this. My guys are my guys are not actually doing that well in terms of a direct engagement with these escort ships. So something that you do want to keep track of. Yes, Commander. Hey, we want to move out this battlefield actually. Yeah, we can get out of here. We don't need them. We don't need them to uh we don't want to fight on their terms. We want them to fight on our terms, which is what you can do as the Eldar. You don't have to fight in an area because your opponent forced you to fight in that area. You can dictate the battlefield, which is, you know, what the Eldar do in lore. So that's nice. Let's go ahead and move out of there. Let's see who we hit. Did hit that guy with two torpedoes, but I don't think that matters actually. This guy was damaged, so his launch bays are not working anymore. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. I think what I'm going to do is sandwich these guys. I'm going to gear up with this dude. I'm going to jump out of there. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, keep firing, keep firing, boys. Yes, Commander. We ride the Come on, one more, one more. To the void with you. Yo, two taunts with the Eldar would be actually ideal. Alright, there we go. Okay, maybe we can turn you use activate pulsars. Yes, we can. And I missed because I suck. Unfortunate. It takes some time getting used to the fact that the Eldar are very maneuverable, but when they have to fire, they have to uh, stay still. But their ships are like they're they're a glass cannon faction, honestly. And I kind of like that. They don't have the tankiest stuff, but man, do they pack a punch. I was able to do a ton of damage to that light cruiser. I'm impressed. Ideally, you don't want to get into... You don't want your enemy to be allowed to board your ships. So you definitely want to try and keep as far away as possible... I suppose you don't have the added benefit of chaos where they have very long range ships, but I suppose you just need to wait a little bit. Maybe you can get a battleship that has long range weapons. I don't know. So yeah, that was the Eldar. I, 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 I like them. They're fun. <laughs> it's like, it's like ice skating. You're ice skating. It's wonderful. All right, so that was 149 Renown, which we will now spend on... Oh, we got a cruiser slot. That should be wonderful. And something that we will probably look forward to later on. But for now, I'm glad if you guys enjoyed this video or if you just like to get your dicks wet to some Eldar goodness. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>